guys, Heath Hall here again with Pork Barrel Barbecue, world's largest barbecue Twitter. We're getting close to that 27,000 mark. If you're not following us, get on there and follow us. Another person you should be following is these guys, the Kansas City Barbecue Society Tour. Been touring all over the country this year. This is the hardest working man in barbecue, I think. I don't know how many miles you put on this year, but it's got to be thousands. Mike Peters. How's it going, buddy? It's going great, Heath. How many miles have you put on this year? About 30,000 this year. 30,000. And how many stops? Uh, 20. This is number 22. <laughs> 21 stops, 22, and you got, we got four, uh, three, five, four, five, five more. more. So almost 30 stops from coast to coast and border to border. All over. If you've been to any of the contests, you've probably seen these guys um, pitching some great products. We've got the Kingsford uh, charcoal. We've got some Bloody Mary mixes. We've got some of the Weber products. You um, so you know, check these guys out. You guys will be at it again next year, I'm sure. I hope so. That's the plan. That's the plan. So what, what was your favorite stop? this year and why? Memphis. Memphis and May, man. And, and we, we're, we're Kansas City Barbecue Society and they, they came out and they said, what are you doing here? I said, we're sneaking in at the dead of the night. We'll be out tomorrow. And I said, we're promoting barbecue because everybody loves barbecue. And that's where we first had you down there. Remember when we did it up on stage? I remember that. It was a lot of fun. I'll tell you what. it's uh, we, we do a little grill master contest and we, we have people who cook chicken breast. And I usually go for the, the, the ladies, the pretty ladies to get that vote. I got heat though there and he, he killed it because it was normally it's little chicken breast on a plate and it's that's it this man came up with a lettuce wrapped taco with grilled onions and tomatoes and little bitty bloody marys even with a little bitty celery stock i did you you took it to another <laughs> level and did it was fantastic well i'm really excited about tonight because i'm getting probably one of the coolest opportunities of anybody in this entire 528 team contest getting to go up against the godfather of barbecue, Mr. Johnny Trigg, smoking triggers. So I'm a little nervous about this because I'm not, this is not an ordinary guy I'm going no, up against. No, he's world champion over and over. He did stop by earlier and said, Was he shaking? No, he wasn't shaking, but he was saying, What exactly are we doing here? And I said, Johnny, we're doing whatever you want, buddy. So you come over and I said, I said, But bring your A game. I said, Because Heath is on it. So we'll, I'm well, anxious. It's going to be an honor for me not only just to be a part of the KCBS tour, because what you guys are doing is spreading the love about barbecue and why it's such a, a great thing to be out there doing. Great sport, great family and friend event to just get everybody around, especially when the economic times are a little difficult. You know, there's nothing better than pulling a group of friends together around a, a barbecue and, and just enjoying some good food. But uh, also, incredibly honored to be able to cook with Johnny. Uh, he just came back from the Middle East uh, serving our troops, which is awesome. Can't wait to, to thank him for that tonight. But uh, one thing to these folks out here watching, one barbecue grilling tip, what would it be? Uh, only flip your steak one time. You don't have to flip it over and over and over. And I'll tell you the story later when it's not on. Everybody, it's, it's, yeah, one time flipping a steak. And then the last thing, since you, you probably meet more barbecue teams than anybody else, since you're at all these contests around the country, what would you say to, to a team out there of, of guys or gals or you know, friends or family that is like, you know, we've always kind of wanted to do this, but we haven't really wanted to jump in. It's a little scary. It could be expensive. We don't know what we'd be up against. What, what would you tell them? Any given weekend, anybody can win. And it's, it's been proven over and over and over. It's, it's you know, you see these guys with $10,000 pits. I competed out against the team that they, they pulled up with these barrel smokers, and it was the nastiest, ugliest things ever. And I'm thinking, I'm, I've got this luck. And they waxed me in a chicken. They did Cornish game hens, and it was it was fabulous. So it doesn't take a lot of money. They just need to jump oh, yeah. right in with both feet and, and just do it. Just go for it, and you're going to be a winner. Whether, whether you come out with a trophy or not, because you're going to meet some great friends. And a year ago, Mike and I didn't know each other. I consider Mike to be a good friend now. We have a lot of fun communicating on Facebook and Twitter, and when we get to see each other, so I guess our third contest we've come across each other this year. I, I, let me interrupt real quick. We talk about barbecue wise and events. We did an event with, with some little kids who came by and tasted our food, and the little kid had said, 
holy crap, that's good barbecue. That just, that fills your heart. And it's it's one of those things that it's, you know, you can cook to family and friends, and they're going to they're gonna tell you what you want to hear. Those little kids, when they say that's good stuff, that I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, I hear you. So, so check out KCBS um, online. You, know, you guys have a Twitter page. Um, is it KCBS Tour? I, I believe it's KCBS Tour. KCBS Tour, check that out. You can also find it on Pork Barrel Barbecue on Twitter. Um, you, gotta, um, you can follow uh, you guys on Facebook. Yeah. And if you're not a member of the Kansas City Barbecue Society, you really got to get out there and join us where all the information is, all the contest listings. So check that out. And we will be coming to you all weekend with some great interviews from some of the best teams and some of maybe the, the visitors that are just around here wishing they could taste some of the things. That's the one thing people always like, why can't I eat that? But we're going to be interviewing everybody that we can, and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to bring you some fun stuff if you haven't uh, been able to be here. And the next year, hopefully you'll be in Kansas City for the event. So we'll see you here in a few hours at the uh, grill off. I'm counting down, my friend. Excellent. Thank you. you bet. We'll see you guys soon. All right, now you want like a